Cedric coming at you with another video. This was a request from a viewer to go back and revisit Outdoor World, aka Bass Pro Shops. Was here about two, three months ago. This is the only place I can get a certain battery for one of my photography lights. So I'm here to pick up some batteries and have a look around. Looks like the crowds have returned pretty good. You can tell the parking lot is fairly full. Bass Pro Shops is attached to Silverton Casino, which you can see off in the distance over there. And there's another video on that. I'll put both cards to both videos up there. For those of you new to the channel, again, my name is Broer Frederick, Las Vegas based professional photographer videographer, cinematographer, and part-time philosopher. So we're going on a store tour with Roar. Let's go see what we can see. Oh, here's the door greeter. That's kind of nuts. About to get the mask deal going on, so to give them up a voice. Here we go. Beautiful entranceway. For those of you who are into the outdoor motif. I'm Viking living in the desert, so this kind of appeals to me. I don't know if I'd do my whole house, but <laughs> maybe a room. No alcohol beyond that point. Hmm. Good thing I left a bottle of scotch in the car. That's a big old elk. These things are kind of cool. I remember once riding a three-wheel. Any of you people ever rode one of these three-wheel ATVs? Those things were death incarnate. <laughs> I still think I got some aches and pains from that. Whoa, what are these? That is badass. I want one. I don't even know what it is, but I want one. It looks tactical. Roar Frederick is tactical. Let's see. Oh, it's only $3,000? It's got a battery in there and everything. I get lazy and tired. That's kind of cool. I had a nitro bass boat a few years ago. I spent one entire summer. These things are huge though. Holy cow. Look how deep a draft that thing has for those of you into boats. And we were capped out at, oh, so getting back to the story. I spent a summer on the Bass Pro Tour back in the day. I fished with Roland Martin and all them dudes. That was pretty damn good, too. <laughs> but our boats weren't like this. They were capped out at 150. Doesn't matter how big, how small. I mean, these are capped at 200 horsepower. Whoa! My favorite boat in the world is a pontoon boat. That's just a party waiting to happen. I've never seen one like this before. What kind of motor they got pushing this thing? Whoa, I would like to see that. But that is just phenomenal. Shout out Great White Shark. Shout out bigger brother of Great White Shark.
Yeah, let's go see some of these party boats. I always wanted to get one ever since, I had one at one time, but I wanted to get one ever since I moved to Las Vegas. But I had two incidents that kind of put me off getting a boat right now. Well, three. One is time. I don't really have the time. Two, the big body of water here, which is Lake Mead. My dog, unsupervised, once drank the water from Lake Mead and almost died. So that sort of put me off. And then the other body of water, wanted to buy a house or a condo on Lake Las Vegas. I'll put a link to that video up there. That is an absolute shithole right now. Hate to say it, but it is true. So that kind of put me off. So I'm going to wait a little while. $30,000. What is three thousand dollars? Three hundred and fifty bucks for the rest of your life, and that could be yours. So that put me off on getting a boat for a while. Forty grand out the door. What do we got here? Thirty-two grand out the door. See, look at that. You could just party. The only thing you need is a shitter, and they do have shitters for these things. You know, like you pop a little tent and uh, take care of your business. Another one over there. My pontoon boat back in the day, I think, had a 50 horsepower. <laughs> You'd burn half the gas going to get gas. That is cool. We're gonna go see the aquarium. The aquarium is cool. My mask keeps slipping. Ugh, I'm over it. My beard's pulling it down. Is that your style? Not my style. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Shout out Makos, shout out Hammerhead, shout out Thresher, shout out Great White. No smell from here at all. I always say that, you know, but if water stinks, it's just representative of how things are taken care of. Look at that sturgeon. What's up, dude? I know, I see you. I know you want to hang out. I got you. I know you want to get out, too. That is a prehistoric animal right there. Used to go striper fishing underneath the lighthouse on Long Island all the way out I mean that's a baby compared to the ones that we used to catch those large mouth are kind of small too let's walk around real quick end of season sale oh well, look some tree dogs yeah if the water's clean it's indicative of people who actually care I always check water. If it stinks, the place is usually kind of stank. Is this your style? <laughs> That's my style. Liberty. Let's go check out some more animals. <laughs> I said animals. Let's check out the animals. I forgot what the, yeah, I think the batteries are off in the back over there. They're just some weird size I just cannot get anywhere. That's a nice display. Shout out Coyote. 
or whatever you are. Looks kind of coyote -ish. That was me before coffee this morning. I'd climb that. I don't they let you climb things in here. I don't think so. Let's check out the latest fall fashion. Camo, of course. Ladies. Flannel. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. You're typical. I have Carhartt too. Wow, they're even pimping Las Vegas trips over here. That's cool. Let's see what's up here before we walk too fast. Ooh, more fishies. Let's give them a shout out. Shout out fish, what are you? Oh, those are trout. Really? They got trout and big old trout like that in this tiny little tank? Sure. Not a fan, sorry. A moose. Any of you ever seen a moose up close? It's like a horse with, what do you call it, antlers on it. It's just absolutely a phenomenal thing. It's going to get really, really loud for a second. So I'm going to hold off on the narration because we're near the waterfall. But I do want you to see this. We'll take a look from above, too. Here we go. More cardio. Dun, dun, dun. All right, cardio done for the day. Let's have us a look. See, that is the Silverton Casino right there. You just walk straight on through. Do the sign. There's some of those giant sturgeon down there also. Can't see them today. I ah, mean, we'll poke our head in the casino too. After we take a look this way. But like I said, there is a full video on that. Dog training stuff. I like the bridges and walkways they have across here. That's kind of cool. Big old archery section. I got a compound bow. Never bought a crossbow though. I mean, it's cool and everything, but it just kind of seems like cheating. But I'll get one someday. Shout out, giant ass giraffe. This is the gun and hunting section over here for people's privacy. I'm not going to go in the firearms section. The 
There's some uh, National Geographic joints going on here. What do you got there? Oh, I was going to say, I should have said it. That would have looked like a rock star. It's a kudu. Kudu box. Being chased by a big old cat. This isn't the biggest Bass Pro Shop outdoor world I've ever been in, but it's pretty damn big. Please, I said this in the first video. Six feet apart. Let's test that theory. One, two, three, four. It's actually 12 feet apart. Check out the big old aquarium from above. Mm, can't see nothing. See that French bulldog down there. So we're in the firearm section, so I'm gonna kinda stay in this direction. You know, got your holsters, got your targets, got your ammo, got your scopes, and of course your firearms. And they call it cutlery instead of knives. I got a pretty decent knife collection too. And a couple axes. The conservation room. That's pretty neat. We're gonna head back to the casino real fast. And I'll give you a little look at that aquarium. As a bit of a bonus footage. I'm also gonna flash up the 9% word of the day. Or phrase, depends. All of you stick around to the end of all my videos, which is most appreciated. Setting up a 9% club soon. That way everyone could join, and that way I can keep track of who's in and who's out. Whoa, loud again. Nine percent club is the backbone of the channel. You keep things moving. I appreciate each and every one of you viewers and subscribers, but those who stick around to the end are extra special. Because that tells YouTube I'm doing the right thing. We're about to have a temperature check, I think. It is awfully, 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 awfully loud over here. Okay, I think we're going to get a temperature check. Temp check? Yeah, go quick. Cool. Awesome, thank you. Am I good? Oh, you're good to go. All right. He says I'm good to go. That's pretty cool. This is a pretty amazing aquarium right here. They don't do the mermaid show. But they got the giant pumpkin going on. Yeah. Those things are funny looking. They look like some people I know. Look, that's a giant puffer fish. Whoa. See if we can get around the other side a little bit. Hey, you finish doing your shopping, you walk right into the casino. Here is another nice sled right here. I want to thank everyone for coming along to this store tour with Brawr and a little bonus footage inside the Silverton. 
if you have any place that you'd want me to go see, that you want me to go film, drop that in the comments. Right now I'm going to drop the 9% word of the day up there, drop that in the comments. I'm setting up a special email address for 9 percenters so you can keep in touch with me. And on that note, for Frederick out.